Hi guys, I'm Nakadachun and welcome to my reaction of Horror of Fairy Tale, episode 274. Well, Yuri really wanted that orb from Tenro Island, but apparently it had some kind of magic in it, so his consciousness or something, or he himself was put into that weird blue dragon skeleton, lizard skeleton or whatever. And now he's kind of controlling it, but I guess he's not maintaining his consciousness because he's just destroying everything around him. So that is a big problem. Mavis of course feels like she is the one who needs to deal with this. Oh goodness, this is not going to be good. How they are going to stop him? Is there a way how to revert this? Even? I do really not know. <laughs> because like they are fairly old even now. I mean, it seems like Pregd is the oldest of them. So if he has some kind of family, he can already have it. Yuri and Vorod, I don't know. They seem fairly young. It depends. I mean... If Yuri is 19, he can still have family. That That's a possibility. Right? But it would be weird if he would die. <laughs> right? That would be really weird. I mean, this is fair at all. Nobody dies, even though it's not true. <laughs> well... I don't know what's going to happen. I kind of rambled for quite a long time, so I guess I'm just going to start it. Yeah, starting it right now. Oh, he escaped. I knew it. <laughs> they just loved him, so... I don't know, maybe he has some kind of powerful magic which helped him to get out because he seems like a very powerful wizard. About that. <laughs> About that. Oh, that was too much. A little bit big. About that. I mean, this blue skeleton is really cool. This is not cool, though. <laughs> Him destroying everything. Those poor houses. We can still rebuild them, though. Still can rebuild them. Though these people, yeah, they are dying. Oh, so some people save themselves. Good. So more people, please run away from the town. Oh, this is hella dangerous. Law. What? The town is so wrecked. Oh, Price seems to be shocked. He is shook. I mean, yeah, that's his partner just destroying all the shit around. What the hell is with the Zera? Explain, please. Fairy tale. Okay. Going back here. It is. She's very good at it. Yeah, I assume they were alone there. Damn, this is so dangerous. What dress though? I really love it. She's so cute. True. She wants to fight. Okay. What is she doing? Oh. I guess this is again an illusion. Yeah, just money. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, gold coins. What is this? They are fake. I assume they're fake. Yeah, they are fake. <laughs> what? 
What is this? Is this? Ah, uh, yeah, you probably should. <laughs> People like money, money, gold. Uh, no, it's it's not real. I actually whelp. Is this Mark versus Bilbo again? God damn. God damn you, Yuri. Why the freaking dragons always attracted to coins called? Why? Why, Tolkien? Why? <laughs> you started it, I assume. Okay, why is she jumping on it? Girl, you can seriously hurt yourself. Yeah, it's fake, sorry bud. Okay, this this skeleton dragon is so creepy. Now it's super pissed. Well, Mavis, I'm not sure if you helped much. I hope all the people around just run away already because they're dead. Okay, which one? Like, fairy law? Oh. Oh, no. Hmm, yes, yeah, so I guess it is that. She was started from Zara. Ah, uh, because Yuri still might be inside, so he is not evil. Yeah, and if she wants to destroy the evil of the orb, it might work. But she did not use it at all. She did not master it, and it could be super dangerous. Damn, he just yeeted her <laughs> like nothing. Okay, so I guess this is the spell which is going to be fairy law. That originated from Zeraph? Do they even know? Do they even know of its origin? Huh? <laughs> okay, Zeraph. Because she wants to be extremely close to you, Zed. I mean, it's just going around, so she probably, and it's big, she probably would not be able to, like, aim it properly. Yeah, I mean, better trying it than knowing nothing. Ah, oh, this town, this beautiful town, there are still people! Why is nobody evacuating them? Christ. Yeah. Oh. The fact that he became Hades, why? Pressed up. Yeah. Yuri does not deserve this. I mean, they exper you experienced a few things with them. Experience really helps forming bonds. What the heck is with the Zara, though? Her situation is just off. Oh yeah, we're going back to this. Of course. Sweet. We'll see about that, though. I love the design of this thing. Oh my god, she got flanked again. Jesus, I mean, she doesn't enough strength to hold herself. Yeah, she was always with her. Oh, she landed. I mean, she used it. 
used its power. Okay. Yeah, now she's very close. Okay. <laughs> that looks crazy. Imagine all these people seeing that. I must be like, it's just end of the world. I guess it is. Pray to God. <laughs> that would be probably very natural to think <laughs> when you see this. Oh. Is it gone? Okay, it just fell apart. So, where's Yuri? Yuri? And they said there might be consequences. Okay. Okay, the orb got destroyed. I mean, she wanted to perish the evil within, so of course it would not halt. Is he okay? Will he remember? Because that would suck. But is he okay? Where is she? She might have like used too much her energy. Is she okay? Is she okay? Is she okay? Blanked out? Can she even move or anything? Seems like she's not that. I mean, she was moving a little. Maybe she, she can't even move or something. It probably took a lot of energy out of her. Oh, damn. Yeah. Um, I mean, this was magic induced. Yeah. And if they can't use magic, they would not know. Yeah. At least they are using their brains. Well, but if it is magic induced, they cannot do anything about that. So is she like in coma? He's trying as much as he can. Guys, please stop fighting. Guys! Cool down. What about Yuri? I believe it. Like, people are grateful if she helped them. Yuri is also not waking up. That's all good. Who was this lady? And where is that grandmaster of that kill? He escaped. Who are you? Oh? Really? Well, I don't know if she would be able to do anything. That was powerful magical spell. Yeah, duh. It was a huge light pillar. It looked like the Anna. The world is coming. It's 
Stop interrupting. She needs to concentrate. Dude. Yeah. <gasps> Let her do her thing. Hmm. It's probably too serious. Stop! Let her explain. She will tell you, probably. But stop hurrying. Let her speak on her in her own speed. Oh, they're rebelling it already. Okay. Yeah, will he remember that? That would hella suck. Okay, he's waking up. They sound so worried. Yeah, when... Very understandable. Okay, so he's telling him right away. He must be worried. Hmm. Yeah, so is she like in coma? Yeah, they don't know what to do with her condition. It was too powerful a spell and she just couldn't. Uh, hmm. Okay, so she's like in some kind of coma and also in some kind of stasis. Pretty sad. Okay. So she is not in coma, but in this kind of like stuck, or is she? She wanted to. She cared about you. Ah, uh, now he feels it was his fault. Okay, you were. You didn't mean to do that. Like, he wanted an orb, but he didn't mean to hurt anyone. Oh, man. It must feel so shitty. So exactly what is her condition? Is this, like, her body? Wow. That sucks. Hmm. So basically she's immortal? Oh, Yeah, she said that. Oh. He feels responsible. Yeah, because she's so nice. 
because those three were always together and they've been through a lot and they were saving their lives and Mavis also saved his life so that's why he trusts her. Oh, look at the character progression. Those goddamn dryers. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's so cute and wholesome seeing the fairy tale, you know, core members actually becoming family friends. That's how it started, and that's how it continues. Oh, Yuri. Freaking rares, why? <laughs> okay. Oh, he's not aware. Oh. So, what is going on here with her? What is going on with here? With her, and what is going on here? I knew something is wrong, and something is suspicious, but I don't know what. So, because all of this, Yuri wants to tell her. But she is aware. Hmm. So Mavis wasn't aware of it. Yeah. I mean, I knew it's sus. Nobody reacted to her. Now I guess Mavis gonna realize that. She wasn't aware of it, but Zara was. Damn. Yeah. But like, she's so lifelike. Damn. It's so nice of Yuri to telling her because he doesn't want her to live in a lie. And it might, like, cause problems in the future. That is sad. Okay, skipping the ending. Okay, I guess this is going to be next. Wow, wow, wow. Things happened. So, she used the fairy law. But at this point, it was only called law because fairy tale still wasn't around. Uh, it will come a bit later, I assume. And because she never used it, and it's a very tough spell, and she wasn't training it, um, it caused her body, like, stop aging. I guess that's why she was in coma, but then she waken up, I guess? Okay, so she's basically immortal. So, how she end up in the crystal? Huh? Confusion! <laughs> Confusion! How she end up in the crystal? What's going on? So yeah, her body is kind of in some kind of stasis. So... I guess maybe she died or... Uh, I don't know. Maybe some other condition happened and they like put her in that crystal. Or something. But they said she died. So maybe she really died. I mean, not that she is immortal. She just doesn't age. So she would not die of age. But if someone would kill her, then she would die. I assume. Or her here is actually her being in a stasis and coma. I don't know. Maybe they will explain it. Like more. 
and oh my god like when yuri was so goddamn emotional <laughs> that got me emotional to like just a little bit more and i would not be able to take it it was so sad i mean yeah I mean, because of what happened because he was greedy but like he did not meant to do all of this he didn't know this would happen and he did not trust her because like what she was saying because she was kind of able to fool him in the past and he really wanted that or so he was like screw you i'm gonna get it i don't care yeah, and then he turned or became part of the dragon because of the orb and was hurting and destroying stuff yeah jesus imagine so she saved him because she cared about him and i really love it because yeah, like, Warat, Precht, and Yuri, they been through a lot. They worked as a team, they faced that a lot of times, and they saved each other's necks and lives. So, it just, their relationship, they become very close because of it. You know, because when you know that despite you are doing a lot of these adventures of the treasures, that you can still believe your pal, that you can have his back yeah that's ultimate trust and ultimate friendship so that's why they were so close and then mavis came in and she also like despite she did not know them that long she still like liked them and wanted to save them yeah it totally makes i really love their relationship it's, it's so it's so nice and you can really see how this like core stuff means much for fairy tale that's basically how it started because there were these strong bonds which hold them together and because they cared so much about each other yeah i love it i love it and Brecht, like it kind of hurts me to see him like this because he was so nice and so wholesome and like he cared about them um, he was just a little bit awkward socially, <laughs> even though things were getting a little better. So, like, why the hell he became Hades? Why? What happened, actually? I hope they will explain it, because it really hurts me what happened to him. It really hurts me. I really love him in Fairy Tale Zero. Yeah. What a cool dude. <laughs> and the stuff with Zera, I'm not really surprised because I knew something like that was happening from the moment Yuri was so, I think, so weirdly around her. Yeah. So she is an illusion. I thought she might be ghost or that Mavis created her. So yeah, it's illusion. But the fact that she's so lifelike. Basically, Mavis created a friend. She did not want to be alone. So somehow, she awakened magical powers in her and created illusion like this. Oh my god. That's incredibly sad. She just did not want it to be alone. So Zera died that day. Wow. Wow. That's really sad. Yeah, and Mavis wasn't even aware of it. What? Imagine that, like, your friend you were this whole time with is just imaginary, illusionary friend, actually. That's fucked up. And she even said, like, I've, I was able to go this far because of you. Oh. Yeah, Zera was pretty well aware of it. Well, I'm glad Yuri told her. I'm glad. It might shook her a little, but she just can't be delusional her whole life. And because she helped him and what she did for him, he wanted to help her too. Despite it might be a little bit cruel. Yeah, he just can't see her like this. Because he saw, like, she is talking to someone he can see or hear. So he's like, oh my god, this, this girl probably is not in very good condition. But, like, he did not do anything about that. B because I guess they weren't as close, right? But 
I guess it kind of kept bugging him. So now, like, when she called him his friend and helped him, he wanted to help her too. Especially because what he was doing as that dragon stuff, he really felt obliged that he really needs to tell her. So, yeah, they, like, would not be lying to her and pretending Zara exists. No lies, right? There are no, there are no lies within friends. So, where did that dude run off? I guess he survived. Lucky bastard. Like, I mean, the master of that guild. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Freaking lucky bastard, right? Freaking serious, ladies man. Will he appear? There are only a few episodes left, so I don't know if they, like, will mention him. Yeah, but I guess now Mavis kind of needs to sort her things out with Zara. Yeah, that is going to be difficult. Well, I'm going to give this episode seven and a half out of ten. Pretty good, especially the Yuri stuff. I'm feeling so sad. Oh my god, why, why? But I love it. The character development is amazing. Yeah, and I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.